In this tutorial, I'll show you the mechanics of training a positioning skill. There are two types of Mirai skills, positioning skills and motion skills. Positioning skills are for when you want a robot to move in a straight path to a target. Motion skills are for when you want a more precise control over the path. For example, to have this robot pick up this M, it can take a direct route, so we can solve the task with a positioning skill. To train that skill, we need to record a bunch of episodes. Episodes are video recordings during which you familiarize Mirai with the action you wanted to perform and the variance it may come across. From those accumulated episodes, Mirai learns how to behave when it encounters variance while executing the desired action. Mirai uses the episodes you record during training to generate a skill. Our task is to have this robot pick up this M. Our aim is to train a skill that enables the robot to position itself just above the M, no matter where it is on the table. You can generate a pretty robust positioning skill by recording 5 to 10 episodes, each one 30 to 60 seconds. Today, in the interest of time, we do three episodes. On the Mirai training app, we have already created a skill. Let's add an episode. We'll be asked to reposition the robot to begin an episode. We can go with manual positioning. Calibrate the force torque sensor. As you do this, be sure your hands aren't touching the robot. To start the first episode, guide the robot's tool center point to its target position. We want to align the tip of the gripper slightly above the M. Both sides of the M should also be equidistant to the gripper fingers. Take care that nothing will obstruct the path to the target position. Start recording. Begin with a gentle spiral motion outward from the target position. Visit all the positions in space that the robot may visit during execution. Imagine you're scanning the target from various perspectives. Spend most of the recording time close to the target. Be sure the target is stationary. For skills with rotations enabled, the goal is not only to visit all relevant points in space, you also want to include all possible orientations of the tool at each point. So you should combine rotating the tool while scanning the space. For this skill, the robot uses all translational axes as well as the Z rotational axis. Stop recording. If you're happy with how the episode went, save it. If not, you can discard it. As to whether to save or discard an episode, there isn't a list of rules that determine whether an episode is high or low quality. Above all, don't keep too many bad episodes and never keep extremely bad episodes. Two tips, try to keep your target in the camera image and to keep your hands out of the image. Since our episode went smoothly, we'll use it for training. Let's do another episode. We can change the position of the M. Calibrate the force torque sensor. For every episode you record, it's very important to have consistency in the robot's target pose. This is the pose that the robot should find its way back to during skill execution. For some skills, you can eyeball it. If you need to be super precise, consider using the robot's native controller to move the end effector to exactly the right coordinates before each episode. Start recording. As mentioned, it's good practice to keep the target in the camera image when you record episodes. You also want to keep your fingers out of the image. You don't want to show Mirai anything that wouldn't be there when the system independently performs the action you want. During recording, if you let go of the robot, it will move back to the target position. This provides a preview of the final motion the trained skill will perform starting from a given pose. Stop recording. That was another good episode. We can save it and go again. We move the robot to the target position. Start recording. As you train, present to Mirai all the variants it may come across when it will perform your desired action. The episodes you record should address all the variance types. Doing so will lead to a more robust skill. In our case, we need to train for variance in the position of the M on the table and variance in the background due to these holes. 
To show Mirai how to handle this variance, we record episodes where the M is in random positions on the table. Mirai will then learn to see the target from different angles and with different backdrops. Let's stop recording for now and exit the training session. Once you've recorded at least five episodes, 30 seconds each, you can send the data to the cloud for training. Soon after, a skill will materialize. You then want to test out the skill. We cover testing in a separate video. On the question of how much data is needed to get a robust skill, it depends on the complexity of what you're trying to do. If you want a skill that is fairly simple, five to 10 episodes will probably suffice. If you have many types of variants that you need to combine, record more episodes. Your chances of getting a robust skill are much higher if you actually show all the combinations of variants that the Mirai powered robot will encounter. If your skill shows weaknesses, you can do additional training and really focus on the situations that need improvement. Thank you for your time.